yeye anaitwa mwinjiristi Daniel Smenes. And I come from Norway but I live in Germany. Anatokea Norway lakini ana kwa sasa naishi Ujerumani. And uh, we are very happy to be here in the, the town of Biharamulu. Matunayo furaha kubwa kuwa katika mji huu wa Biharamulu. And for many many months there has been this preparation for the gospel crusade here. Uh, kwa muda wa miezi kadhaa tumekuwa na maandalizi kwa ajili ya mkutano huu mkubwa. It's not the first time we have come here to Tanzania. Sio mara yetu ya kwanza kuwepo hapa nchini Tanzania. We come back again and again because we love the Tanzanian people very very much. Tutaendelea kuja hapa Tanzania mara kwa mara kwa sababu watu wa Tanzania wanatupenda sana. But we feel that the Lord has been speaking to us about coming to the place of Biharamolo for this time. Ya, yeah, tumekuwa tukisikia sauti ya Mungu ikituhimiza kuja hapa Biharamolo kwa ajili ya njiri because God has not forgotten about the town of Biharamolo kwa sababu Mungu hajasahau mji huu wa Biharamolo. And uh, you might have already seen some of the promotion going about around in the different places around Biharamolo. Ya, yeah, unaweza kumekwisha kuona matangazo mbalimbali ambayo yako ndani ya mji wa Biharamolo nzima. About 25,000 posters have been set up around in the district. Ni zaidi ya matangazo yapatao kama 25 ambayo tayari imekwisha kubandikwa maeneo mbalimbali. Sign boards have come up everywhere. Na sign boards on the side of the road. Hizo alama katika mabarabara zimekwisha kuonesha ambazo zinaonesha mkutano. Also we have an announcement truck going around to share about this wonderful gospel crusade coming up very soon. Lakini pia tumekuwa na gari ambalo la matangazo limekuwa likipita huko na huko la kuhamasisha kuhusiana na huu mkutano mkubwa wa injiri. You know we we have read the Bible and Jesus he was holding gospel crusades when he was here. Jesus he held gospel crusade when he was on the planet yeah. Earth. Lakini pia kama tunavyojua Yesu pia amekuwa na alikuwa na mikutano mikubwa alipokuwa hapa duniani where the good news of the kingdom of God could be preached to many 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 people at the one and the same time. Eh habari njema habari njema ya okovu kiasi kwamba iko inahubiriwa kwa watu wengi so our heart with having this great gospel crusade coming to the town ya furaha yetu ni kwa mkutano huu mkubwa katika mji huu wa Biharamu is to lift up the name of Jesus ili kulibeba au kulinyanyua jina kula Yesu and we know when we lift up his name tunajua kwamba tukilinyanyua jina la Yesu he will draw all the people from Biharamu to himself na tunaamini kwamba atawavuta watu wengi wa Biharamu kuja kwake so that is our aim that is our purpose hiyo hilo ndio lengo letu na hilo ndio kusudio letu and and we want to see people coming into the loving arms of Jesus na sisi tunatamani kuona watu wengi wakija wanakimbia kuja kwa Yesu not so long ago we were in a, in a city called Korogbe na muda si mrefu tutakuwa kuna nani mji mwingine unaitwa Korogwe in Tanga kule Tanga we saw God move in a mighty way over there tutakuwa tunaanamini kwamba Mungu atatembea katika kwa kadhongo kikubwa we saw how people got connected with God tunaamini kwamba kuna watu wengine watonganishwa na Mungu moja kwa even so the blind see hata hata vipofu the lame walking hata wale biwete watatembea and you know Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever Yesu ni yule yule jana na leo na hata milele that's why we expect great things to happen here in Biharamulo as well. Ndio maana tunaamini kwamba kuna mambo makubwa yatakwenda kutokea hapa Biharamulo. So in the coming week from the 29th of November, hayo kwa wiki inaanza kesho kuanzia tarehe 29 mwezi huu wa 11 at 3 o'clock kuanzia saa 9 kamili the great gospel crusade will start and you have to come and to be part of it. Eh mkutano mkubwa wa injili utaanza na kila mmoja anakaribishwa kuja kwenye mkutano. I can promise you this will be the best place you can possibly be from Wednesday through Sunday in the following week. Naamini kwamba hii itakuwa ni nafasi nzuri ya mkutano wenyewe ambao utakuanzia siku ya Jumatano hiyo mpaka siku ya Jumatano. Mungu akubariki sana. God bless you. Asante <laughs> sana.